so let us now calculate the variance of uh, hypergeometric distribution so for the variance what we want to find first is the second moment so second moment is um, r squared and r n minus n k minus r uh, divided by n k r from 0 to k now for simplicity um, I am going to ignore this denominator for a while and work with only the numerator so our numerator is um, r is equal to 0 to k r squared and r n minus n k minus r okay. so now again we use uh, the relation which is and then plug it here and see we get n here and r times n minus 1 r minus 1 n minus n k minus r r goes from now 1 to k ok so now we make a change of variable here we say let m is equal to r minus 1 so r becomes m plus 1 okay. and then if r is equal to 1 m is equal to 0 r is equal to k m is equal to k minus 1 so our summation becomes m is equal to 0 to k minus 1 m plus 1 n minus 1 m and then n minus n k minus m minus 1 okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to, I'm going to uh, separate this m and 1 so i'm going to write it in two summations so m is equal to 0 to k minus 1 m times n minus 1 m for this one i'm going to write it like plus so these are my two summations now let's note what is the first summation the first summation is exactly the sum which we used in the mean of the hypergeometric random variable so this guy the first summation is nothing more than the, the mean so mean is what what is the total sample size here n minus 1 how many samples we are um, taking out k minus 1 and what is the number of items of the first type which is n minus 1 so this is the um, this is the mean but remember we have ignored the denominator so we have to multiply it with the denominator as well so the denominator for this guy should be n minus 1 choose k minus 1 okay in the second summation second summation is nothing more than the van der Mond's identity so this guy is equal to just So our final numerator becomes n minus 1 k minus 1 times n minus 1 k minus 1 over n minus 1 plus 1. Okay. Now we introduce our denominator here. So our e to the x squared this is equal to n minus 1 k minus 1 divided by n k n 
and uh, and this term n minus 1 k minus 1 divided by n minus 1 plus 1 now note that we have ignored uh, an outside n here here so we write n here as well now what is this term now again this term is just nothing more than so we will use n k this is equal to n over k times n minus 1 k minus 1 so then this term becomes k over n so our second moment is equal to this is equal to n q over n times n minus 1 k minus 1 over n minus 1 plus 1 now what we can do is our variance is what second moment take away mean squared so our second moment our, so our variance this is equal to this term minus n squared k squared over n squared so just the final expression is This is equal to n k over n. Now n minus one k minus one over n minus one. Now plus one minus n k. So this is our final variance of the hypergeometric random variable. Thank you for watching, hope you like the video.